Like other mastering modules in Ozone, the Dynamics module has two operational modes. You can choose either Stereo Operation or choose Mid-Side. Now the different operational modes can be located on the left-hand side of the interface of the Dynamics module. Normally you'd be working in Stereo, and to this point we have been working in the Stereo mode. And when you're in Mid-Side mode, you have four dynamic bands for the middle of the Stereo image, and you have four additional bands for the left and right, or sides, of the image. And you can process each of those images separately from one another. So when you're in mid-side mode, it's a good idea to change the meters from a stereo image to a mid-side image. So I'm going to come over to the master I.O. section, and I'm going to change my meters from a stereo mode to the mid-side mode. So you can see now we've got this little amber section in the center and two little blue half circles on the sides. So now when we play audio back through the meters, instead of monitoring the left and right channel audio like we have in the past, we're going to be monitoring the mid channel on this VU meter on the left and the sides or the left and right channels will appear on the right meter. So let's get an idea of what you can do with mid side dynamics processing. Let's listen to this audio file again, and right now we have it set to mid-side mode, and let's listen to the things that are in the center of the mix along with the things that are on the left and right side of the mix. We can hear that the attack of the bass drum and the hand clap are dead center in the mix, and then there are some other things that are happening on the left and right channel. So let's say that we wanted to reduce the dynamics of just that band that holds the center or mid frequencies, which would be things like that kick drum attack and the hand claps. What I'm going to do is compress the mid image a little bit more. So since I have the mid selected over here, I'm going to make sure that that high mid frequency band is selected, and then I'm going to compress it a little bit more. So more like five to one, and then I'm going to reduce the gain. I'm going to start the playback over again so we can hear the before and the after. So when I have that mid compressor on, if I reduce the gain now, it's going to pull more of that center image or the mid image out. And conversely, if we wanted to bring up some of the other stereo image in the file, we could go to the side of that Dynamics channel and increase the gain, but I'm going to adjust the compressor a little bit more here. I'm going to have it compress the sides a bit more, and the reason I have to do this is because this band has two different channels that it's working on. It has the mid channel and the side channel. Whereas in stereo mode, the band works the same on left and right channels. So you have to program each band for each channel of the mid-side mode. So I'm going to add a little bit of limiting here. And then I'm going to increase the gain a bit on the sides. And you can hear that it brings up the left and right channels or the sides of that stereo file. If I reduce them, it starts to sound much more mono. And then if you want to hear what each channel is doing, the mid and side channels both have a solo button, so we could listen to just the mid channel, or listen to just the side channels. And to help indicate which channel you're currently working on, you'll notice that you have a little indicator up here in the frequency spectrum that shows you whether you're working on the side channel or whether you're working on the mid channel. And you can also link those two channels together to get some preliminary settings on all of the dynamics processes then you can unlink them to program each channel and each band separately. So now let's listen to the before and after of all the processing. I'm going to move to right about here. So I'm going to hit the bypass button so that we can hear the before and the after. So 
So by using the mid side mode of the dynamics module, you're able to process the dynamics of the center channel separately from the left and right channels. And again, the center is the mid and the left and right signals are the side. So that's the mid side mode of the dynamics processor. And next, let's talk about the equalizer module. 